Yeah, we're all, we're all, of course, talking about the upcoming second State of the Nation address and yung bagong branding, bagong Pilipinas. But in the meantime, tatanungin na natin, meron ng bagong brand. Kumusta na? Ano na kaya nangyari dun sa Uni Team, na which was the campaign slogan? To, uh, maybe you can ask Ms. Tekia first. Well, ang Uni Team ay buo pa. It's still... Uh... It's still, you know, between the president and the vice president, I don't think there will be a crack there uh, until 2028. Um, um, second, uh, between the vice president and the speaker, I think we know very well that there's a crack there mm -hmm. and that that crack will, will further be uh, bigger and wide uh, as we progress to the midterm. Uh, we don't necessarily know whether the vice president will get involved in the midterm politics because right now we still do not know who is the who is the party in governance. Mm. Um, there is no party in governance. Uh, uh, the president ran under Partido Federal, but there is no Partido Federal. Uh, recently, though, uh, there there was an effort to recruit uh, at hanggang barangay kapitan yung recruitment ni Governor Tamayo. So I was surprised by that because. Uh, it's very rare to have a political party up to the barangay level unless they're, you know, positioning Partido Federal for the uh, BSKE, the Bangga, Barangay Sangkunian ng Kabataan elections uh, this October. Um, there is no, there is a coalition. Uh, it appears Lakas is strong in the House. Uh, the Senate is another another body altogether but i don't see the typical like what we used to see kbl the monolithic party oh. of uh the administration i don't see that oh. here i don't know if that is by design yeah. uh or the president just wants to maintain his independence from among the political parties but we see very clearly that the speaker plays a very important role uh, for the president when it comes to politics among the supporters, I think we are already witnessing a division. Um, merong talagang... Uh, ako tato yung nakikita kong division sa supporters ng administration. One is the Duterte, just Duterte supporters. And then the other one is the new Marcos loyalist. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the old Marcos loyalists. Mm -hmm. And, Describe um, each. <laughs> oh, oh, I think yung, um, the, the Duterte supporters, of course, they expect continuity from um, you know, the previous administration. That's why they support that um, Bong Bong Marcos. Mm. And the old loyalists supported Bong Bong Marcos because they thought that he would be a, a repeat of his father. Yes. And I think both camps have their own share of disappointments. Pero nga, the other, the other new uh, political base, ito yung BB, just BBM uh, supporters. Mm.